say thank you, Jesus, for your grace, your mercy, your favor upon my life. I am in your presence. Give me the grace to remain in your presence by your word and your spirit. In Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Shall we clap for Jesus? You may be seated. John chapter 8. Let me introduce this message to you. I've been talking about destiny. There's no competition in destiny. I want to talk about our personal relationship with Jesus. Our relationship. A good relationship always produces good results. A good relationship always produces good results. There's no way you can say you are in a relationship with your friend, whether you are a man or a woman, and yet you don't communicate to each other. What kind of relationship is that? Because relationship has got two ways. What do I mean when I say, or two sides, to be specific? It's more like a coin or money. There are two sides for you to identify a original a colors. When you talk, your partner is listening to you. When you finish talking, your partner will answer you. If it is good, your partner will suppose, yes, go ahead. If it is not good, your partner says, mm -mm, don't do that. There, you come up with one thing. You agree to say yes. As long as there is that understanding between you and your partner, the next thing that people see is success. What made Jesus to be strong? Each and every day he was getting stronger and stronger. Why? Because he was in constant relationship with the father. I want to replace, you know, the position of Jesus here on earth. I want to give you that position. Like Jesus was here on earth. Now he's no longer here. The time he was here, he was talking to his father. He can't move without consulting the father. He cannot heal or deliver anyone without consulting the father. There are certain things that you cannot consult your partner. Can you consult your partner? I want to, can I go to the toilet? Are you normal? Hmm? Even your partner will start to say, ah, ah, did I marry a right person? Why must this man tell me that, honey, can I go to the toilet now? Or you, you ask your husband, can I go? It's, those are natural things. You cannot consult. Oh, father, can I go to the toilet? No, that is madness. Those are natural things. They always trigger by themselves. You just say, oh, excuse me. No one will ask, where are you going? No. That word, that word you say, excuse me. Whoever is there will understand that, no, yes. So relationship that can lead to success, there is proper understanding. There is proper agreement. You agree to each other. Today we are making decisions based on what we want to know or what we want to see, not what you hear from your father. Jesus had that nature of being equal to his father. But you know, he did not take any decisions without asking the father, is it right for me to go and attend this ceremony? If the answer is yes, Jesus will go there. His people will be pushing him. Why can't you go there? Let people know you and see that you are performing miracles. Say, yes, to you. Every time is ready for you to do it. But for me, 
it's not yet time. Why? The father did not allow him to go there. But later the father said, you can go now. He followed them. Our relationship, even people are in the government. I'm just laying a foundation, please bear with me. The people are in the government. If the president appoints you to be a minister, it doesn't mean that you are running your own country now. No. Did you consult the president? For what? I am a minister. I am in charge. You are, you are talking about the president. What am I doing here? Am I not the minister? You are a minister, but you need to consult the president. If you just put pen on the paper to say, okay, I'll give you a contract of 20 billion, tomorrow you are fired. The president will call you, Mr. Minister, is what I am hearing from the PSO director is true that you have signed the contract? Yes, Mr. President, because I am in charge. I am a minister here. The president will have to say, I think you are, you are out of your mind. Okay, thank you. The next thing you hear, I therefore, you can conclude for that one. If you hear the president after, you know, explaining this minister and then, I therefore, mm, you know the outcome. At the end of the day, you start now walking. You became a ordinary what? Citizen. Because you did not keep that strong relationship with your master. It is the president who is going to protect you. Even if there is dust all over, the president will say, no, I'm aware. Leave that one alone. Face me. What am I talking about? I'm talking about your personal relationship with Jesus. Do you consult Jesus? Hmm? Do you consult him? Hmm? The only thing you see inside the church is people... Pastor, I sat in my paper and I am very busy. It's not about a friend of mine. Paco Ambata Bala and the other friend of mine. Did you have a hello? I am for the first time. You consult first, but Pastor Baba, we have a Nanaka. We are not going to bang a seven. Ah, but the seven time we have a shiver. Now let me not talk about change. See, we are not sure of what we are doing. This is why it's important that before you embark on anything, consult the one who can see beyond today. There you never go wrong. There you never go wrong. Let me read this uh, passage. John 8, verse 25. I'm just introducing this message to you. The way I introduced the message entitled, There's No Competition in Destiny. I want you to know that for you to be where you want to be, it is not because of your effort. No. It is because of that strong relationship with Jesus. The Bible says, who are you? They ask. Just what I have been telling you. This is Jesus now. From the beginning, Jesus replied, I have much to say in judgment of you, but he who sent me is trustworthy. What I've heard from him, I tell the world. Take note of that. What I heard from him, I tell, meaning Jesus was not speaking his own mind. He was speaking the mind of the Father. Because he had no power to do anything on his own. Although he was, you know, appointed to be the savior of the world. But he was not authorized to say things according to what he wanted to say. It. He has to consult before opening his mouth. He said, this is what I've been telling you. Anything I hear from my father, I tell the world. Meaning, there is no one here on earth who will come in between Jesus and his father. Because of that strong relationship. Anything that Jesus would do here on earth, the Father is backing. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. 27. They did not understand that he was telling them about his Father. If you say, let me hear from my Father, and no one you sees your Father here. This is why they did not understand him. But he knew where he was coming from. 
If you don't know where you are coming from, you misbehave. Because in our language, we say experience is the best teacher. Where I am coming from, there is a lesson for me. I have tried. I have fought this. And I could not win any battle. This time around, I trust Jesus. That if it is Jesus who is fighting for me, because we are in that relationship, no one can bring me down. And you know Jesus is reliable. You cannot fight him and win the battle. Praise the Lord. 28. I hope you are following me. Hmm? So Jesus said, when you have lifted the Son of Man, then you will know that I am He, and that I do nothing on my own, but speak just what the Father has taught me. There you go again. If you have, you know, you uplift the Son of Man, you understand or you know that I am He. What does it mean? Simply means me and my Father, we are one, or Him is in me. I represent him here. I don't speak my mind. I speak what I hear from my father. This is why even today you can say in the name of Jesus, you will see answers. In the name of what? Jesus, you will see what? Answers. I ask you this question. Do you consult Jesus when you are making decisions? The answer is no. We trust our capacity. We trust our education. We trust our mind. Being educated doesn't mean that you are equal with your creator. It's just a privilege that you have been to school. But the life that you are calling belongs to someone, and that person is Jesus. I gave you this example between the minister and the president. A placard, for example. The, the life that you, are, you know you are misusing is not your own. Look at what is happening in the world. Because of this spirit of not consulting Jesus. Look at what is happening all over the world. Jesus will put him aside. Our mind first. Where can you go with your mind? A human being, even malaria can kill you. Even water in the cup can kill you. The one who is trustworthy is Jesus. If you consult Jesus in each and every stage in your life, you never go wrong. No one can fight Jesus and win the battle. Jesus defeated the world, not because of his name Jesus, but because he was in constant relationship with the Father. And the Father had more power over his life. Why are we behaving like we created by ourselves? Even we pastors. I was watching one clip where men of God were apologizing because of the prophets they give. I said, look at uh, the church now. Hmm? Satan, shame on you. God cannot lie. Anything from God is accurate. Anything from where? It's accurate. There's no guesswork. No, I therefore withdraw my... Uh, my, my, my message and apologize to my followers. Who can follow you again? A blind person like you. It is only Jesus, even us ministers, we are lying every day to say the Lord said, the Lord said, at the end of the day, you are changing statements. Because we do not consult him. All what we want is to please people. Or people to see you that, yes, you are a man of God, you are anointed. It is the work that you are doing that can, you know, qualify that this one is a prophet. This one is an apostle. Not what you are telling people. No. Jesus never missed anything. He never missed any word. Because the father there, 
was in him. You don't know what you are doing. You don't know where you are going. You only trust the, the majority. Hmm? The what? The majority. Everyone is saying it's brew. Now say, yes, it means to it's brew. Me as a child of God, if all of you say blue, I will ask the father, is it blue? If Jesus says yes, it's blue, I will, I will follow yes, it's blue. Not because of what you are saying, but because of what my father has told me that, yes, this is blue. We grow every day spiritually because of the relationship we keep. Nothing to mislead everyone who is in constant relationship with Jesus. So you did not know that this man is what? No, I, I came to know later when you know the situation. So you did not know that this woman pray what? Uh, Sojo. You know Sojo? Do you know Sojo? <laughs> you don't know Sojo? Uh, in Juka? Eh? <laughs> Gambo. You don't know that the person that you are marrying pray Gambo. Like one man was saying, I never knew that the woman I'm going to marry, she smokes. Each and every time we are together, she will put, you know, a perfume, what and what. After relationship, you know, has gone, you know, too far. She knew that this man is in me and I'm in him. There's no way he can come out of me. In the public where they were eating, she just opened a handbag and removed a packet of cigarettes. Bam! In the public. And what is this? I smoke. You smoke at yes. I've been smoking from I started smoking when I was 16. Now I'm 27. Ah you are already inside. Hmm? What can you do? You just accept the smoking. Hmm? You'll be busy complaining every day, but the man I left here, you buy cigarettes at yes. I was like, you know, if I can't smoke, I don't feel like it. I'm okay. Not until I smoke. But if you consult Jesus to say, Father, is this the right person, you know, to live with? Jesus said, no. It's a, it's a chimney. Don't go. That one is a chimney. Don't even enter there. <laughs> Amen. But you, as long as you are inside the chimney, and then you discover that oh, this is a chimney, ah, you are already consumed. You just accept and manage the chimney. Simple. Hmm? Learn to, you know, to trust, I mean, to depend on Jesus. How can you do that? Accept yourself that you are just a human being. You are not like Jesus. If you accept that you are just a human being, you are not equal with Jesus. You cannot trust your mind based on what you see or what you know or the level of your education. Then you think, yes, I can do that. No, you can't do that. It is only Jesus who knows what is next. You don't know what is next. We always guess. Sometimes you see, uh, when, more especially when it comes to politics, you see we men of God, you just start the, the environment. You see who is popular. Who is what? Uh -huh. There you go to say, <laughs> the Lord said, this man will carry the death. At the end of the day, the man you said you carry the day, lose the election. What are you going to say? Actually, the Spirit of God ministered to me again. Lying in the public, you continue lying. If it is Jesus, you know, who spoke to you to say, go and tell my people that this is what is going to happen. There's no need for you to go back to the people again to say this. We are just speaking our mind our feelings, the way you see things, then you transfer it to the Holy Spirit. Sometimes you get the information. Then you say the Holy Spirit said this. No. It is only Jesus who can see beyond it today, not you and me. So our relationship with Jesus is very, very important because we are getting the strength from that relationship. Even a, a man, are you married? You are not. Stand up. Go what? Uh, come here, man. Go what? Uh, if my sister here, she is my fiancée, eh? 
Are you there? We are in a relationship. And then you are just coming from this side to say, eh, sister, can I talk to you? Ah! Nangusha kwa tama kutu na kuipusha kinuwebo nani? Because first of all, why push her in there? My brother, can I talk to you? Yes, you can talk to me. Who is this? This is my fiancé. Not where just say, hey, sister, come here. I want to talk to you. Ah, ah, ah. We we'll end up now in police cells. Because I have to, to protect our relationship. I'm just giving you this example. That is Jesus for you. A witch cannot come and grab you or give you poison or do whatever they want to do. Jesus will stand for you to say, what do you want? Because we are in that relationship. If this sister discover that the man is proposing her in my presence, <laughs> my sister in her mind said, I think this man I was with is not normal. The man, this man who is talking to me is normal. Because I have to be there to say, what do you want? This is my fiancé. What do you want? That's the way Jesus protects your life. Those who are consulting him. Those who are living according to his instructions. Jesus always stands for you. The way his father stood for him when he was here on earth. No one could bring Jesus down because the father was there. Why are you trusting yourself? Thank you, my sister. Sit down. Trust Jesus. You knew nothing about life. What you knew about life, even your neighbor knew what you knew. There is nothing like, you know, me, I know this. You knew nothing. It is only Jesus who knows. Your beginning and your end. What you pass through here on earth. And as long as Jesus is part of your life, you are in that relationship, any situation that you find yourself, Jesus will provide the way out for you. Stop trusting yourself. Or rich people. Rich people, one day they are going to leave this world. Are you going to trust someone who is no more? The answer is no. So I'm just, even if, you know, I've spent a, a, a lot of minutes, but I'm, I was introducing this message. Our relationship. Tell your neighbor, say neighbor. Keep your relationship with Jesus. Pray your law in that relationship. Yes. It's a two-way side. There is no way this one is praying his law. You are not praying your law. You say, we are in a relation. Which relationship? Pray your law. Let your partner pray his law. There you can claim that, yes, we are in a relationship. Thank you. God bless you.